we're about to see something of a resurgence of truly compact trucks. Smaller vehicles that are easier to park and more fuel efficient than their mid-size and full-size counterparts. The Hyundai Santa Cruz is leading the charge, but it's going to be followed very closely behind by this, the 2022 Ford Maverick. With a standard hybrid powertrain that gets up to 40 miles per gallon in the city, or an available EcoBoost that can tow up to 4,000 pounds, it's clear that the Ford Maverick has a few tricks up its sleeve. The Maverick clearly takes some inspiration from the larger F-Series, starting with these standard LED C-clamp headlights and a full-width grill bar up front. It's also reassuringly truck-like, unlike the slightly crossover Hyundai Santa Cruz, with a nice upright windshield and a slightly shallow dashboard that reminds me of the Bronco Sport, which is one of my favorite vehicles on the market today. Like the Bronco Sport, it has a perfectly horizontal belt line right here. However, Ford designers gave it a little kink in the sheet metal to recall the window trim of the F-Series pickup. Since this is a unibody truck, there isn't a separate stamping between the bed and the rest of the body, but Ford butched it up just a little bit with a plastic bed rail cap that extends onto the C-pillar, preventing damage when you're unloading and loading gear. Like the Santa Cruz, the Maverick features unibody construction and a four-cylinder exclusive powertrain, but Ford gives the buyer a choice of either a 2.5-liter hybrid inline four that gets that aforementioned 40 mile per gallon city rating, or a more powerful two-liter EcoBoost engine borrowed from the Bronco Sport. The 191 horsepower hybrid is unfortunately limited to front wheel drive, but it still gets 2,000 pounds of towing capacity, enough for many weekend playthings. If you've got a small speedboat or a camper though, you're gonna want the optional 250 horsepower EcoBoost engine. Available with front or all wheel drive, the more powerful engine also has an optional towing package that boosts its rating to 4,000 pounds. More than enough for most active families, but down on the Santa Cruz's 5,000 pound maximum. This particular vehicle is an FX4, which means it's got the optional package that comes with all-terrain tires, a little bit more ground clearance, and two additional off-road driving modes for the train selector. The FX4 will only be available on the Lariat and the XLT all-wheel drive vehicles, which means it's limited to the EcoBoost engine. No problem by me, it's probably gonna be a lot of fun to drive off-road. Moving to the back, there is absolutely no denying this vehicle's parentage. It is very clearly a Ford Maverick, thanks to this stamped tailgate that recalls those on the Ranger and the F-Series. The Maverick's four and a half foot bed is one of the shorter cargo boxes in the industry, except perhaps the slightly smaller Hyundai Santa Cruz. However, the automaker made sure that you could make the most of the space that's available. For example, they included these clever little slots in the bed that mean you can use two by fours and two by sixes to segment out exactly how much room you need, which is perfect for someone who goes camping a lot. For example, I really, really hate putting my muddy tarp in with my clean tent and uh, sleeping bags, and this would be perfect for me. They also pointed out that you can use these to kind of create your own bike racks if you don't want to go out and purchase an aftermarket rack. There are a lot of other clever features back here as well. For example, there's a 110 volt outlet, and there are 12 volt power points that you can use to wire in your own accessories. Ford also included a clever little cargo box in the rear bed corner, making the most of the space available there that would otherwise be wasted. There's also a multi-level tailgate that clicks up in a partially up position using these cables here, that means that you can load up to 18 sheets of 4x8 plywood without having them sitting at an angle. The Maverick also gives you several different tie-down options. You've got two in the rear of the bed right here, two in the front of the bed floor, and then this pair of customizable tie-down rails. You also get two in the tailgate itself, the bottom of which doubles as a bottle opener for your beverage of choice. Ford also wanted to make sure that the interior of the Maverick was as user-friendly as the cargo box. For example, this armrest right here is cut away to make space for a tall one liter bottle, and the pockets themselves are pretty decently shaped and sized. There's a lot of storage in the center console, and Ford made sure to fit an electronic gear selector that doesn't take up quite as much room as a bulky traditional shift lever. An eight inch infotainment screen is standard on every version of the Maverick, including the base XL model. And it comes with a few cool little slots that you could put a wallet or a cell phone or maybe a garage entry card or something like that. It all runs Sync 4, which is one of the best infotainment systems in the industry. This particular vehicle wears this really cool brown leatherette that feels like it's definitely up to some rugged weekend abuse. However, it's not the upholstery of choice for me. That belongs to the XLT, which has this really beautiful kind of cloth twill that looks much more attractive to my eyes than kind of just basic brown leather. I think that should be the flagship interior. This one's great. I like the cloth a lot better. We haven't even gotten to the best part yet. 
The Ford Maverick starts at less than $20,000, making it the cheapest hybrid in North America. And 40 miles per gallon is nothing to sneeze at. That price also includes such niceties as the eight inch infotainment screen and a lot of those different tie downs and functionality features that I was showing you in the interior and the bed. A fully loaded vehicle like this Lariat with the FX4 package and the EcoBoost engine will probably cost just over 30 grand, which still strikes me as an amazing deal. You can barely even get into a two wheel drive Tacoma for that price. The Ford Maverick goes on sale in fall of 2021. The Build Your Own tool is live on the Ford website right now, which is where I'm headed. So I'll see you next time, but until then, thank you for watching.